Hello everybody, it's me, Zumad, and I am back with episode 2 of the Minecraft SMP. Now, it's been a while since the last episode, and we've made quite a bit of progress, which is obviously immediately noticeable, so very soon I will get right into a tour of all of the progress that has been made previously. I know I promised weekly gaming videos, and I haven't ha uploaded for almost a month. That's just because the school year started, writing four essays at the same time has been brutal, but yeah, the sco my school has calmed down a bit with the homework, so maybe I might be able to upload more often. Um, I guess my, what I'm trying to say here is my upload schedule will start to become a lot more unstable during the school year. So the first thing you guys probably noticed was this big house. Now, this was not here last episode, however, it was starting to be built. In the previous episode at the end of the video, Pony Ton started building a house, and I helped her out a bit, and now it's complete. So, I'm just gonna go on a little tour. Um, yeah, this is the enchanting table I made last episode, we moved it here. And Bugboy1, who changed his username, now he's Captain Anakirk, that's, that will be his username from now on. He's been adding some bookshelves. He um, recently added an AFK fish farm, and I don't know how to use it. Ponyton doesn't know how to use it, so we just let him do his thing sometimes with it. This is just a little, like, big smelter that can do lots of things at once. And I made this, and I'm making a lot of stone, and that's for a project upcoming, which I will show you guys. So in the second floor, we have the bedrooms. This is Ponyton's room. This is my room, and Ponyton just left me a nice little sign here, but we don't really need it anymore. And she also left me a little present. And then this is Anna Kirk's room, or Bug Boy 1. And yeah, nothing really exciting going on here. And then this leads to the rooftop, which later on we will be adding um, a garden to the top, which I think might be just kind of redundant since we already have a bunch of gardens over there at our first base. So right down here um, under this trap door is the mine shaft. And I dug out this tunnel, which if we follow it, runs all the way back to the original base. And I dug it out simply because, well, I dug it out so that the original base's mine shaft and the new base's mines could be linked together. And sometimes monsters like to gather at the front door of the other house and just wait. Creepers especially love to hang out there. So if that's there, this is kind of like an alternate exit that doesn't require getting the house blown up. So... This is the first place it's we've moved out of it. Something else that's really cool about the mine shaft down here. So you guys remember that cave from the previous episode where I found that giant fossil? I did some work with the coordinates and discovered that it was right beneath Ponyton's house. So I did some digging and now it's connected. And this is dangerous. There's so many creepers. I'm getting out of here. Because I've gotten shot off this bridge before by skeletons. There really isn't a point in going down in that cave because we've pretty much mined all the ores in it. There aren't any ores left to collect. So later on I might have to go looking for another cave to dig out. One other thing, I can't quite remember if all of these animals were here in the previous episode actually. So maybe they have been here, and they were in the previous episode, and I'm just being an idiot, but I think we have new sheep. So those will be useful for gathering wool. We also have some horses. Um, Ponyton and Captain have found some horses. I'm not really too into owning horses, but, you know, I'll just let them do their thing. And I've also expanded the chicken farm. Now how this kind of works is the chickens will... Um, they'll get dispensed into this chamber with the eggs from the chickens in the top. Then, whenever they grow up, then, yeah, they get smashed by the piston, and then their drops are collected into this furnace. And then, um, then you just cook the meat with the furnace that's conveniently right there, and then you get lots of XP from cooking it, so it's kind of like a nice little extra source of XP. One really exciting thing that happened since the previous episode was... Captain Anakirk actually went, he went out exploring because he was looking for an ocean because, you know, it's update Aquatic 1.13, so we need to find an ocean to explore all the new features and show you guys those. 
he found an ocean and it's actually not too far away from our base. So I'm actually going to head over there and show you guys the ocean. Okay guys, so we just made it. Um, this is a village I forgot to mention that Captain found. So we've already like placed some beds in the houses and whatnot. So if we're out here at the ocean, we can just head back to the village and spend the night. So nothing else really to show in the village. It's just a plain old village. But here is the ocean. I got a little lost and off course on the way to the ocean. But yeah, this is it. And right over there is some land. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to head over there. You know what? Why the heck not? Alright, so here's the island. We have a- whoa! Whoops, I accidentally turned the boat. So, here is the island, and we've actually gone digging around for, um, treasure. Whoa, my computer is just lagging like crazy. Sorry about that. Anyway, one thing that's really neat, we there's apparently some treasure here. Um, Captain found a treasure map in like one of like the five or six. I don't even know how many pirate ships he's gone through, but he. However, he actually never found it here. We dug for like almost an hour or two hours, and we didn't find anything. Oh wow! I've never actually looked over here at any of this. Ooh. You know, I've actually, I had planned in this episode later on that we would go exploring in order to find a place for me to put my base and then begin construction. This might be the ideal spot. This is beautiful. This looks so cool. It's like right by the ocean. It's not too far away from base. And I absolutely love the mountains. The mountains and the, I think it's called the Rift Forest, are like my two favorite biomes in Minecraft. And there's like a Rift Forest right there. My computer's lag spiking. I think it's just because I'm trying to record and host the server. While also, yeah, my computer's busy. Who knows, maybe in the future. What? Oh my gosh. This just gets better and better. What? We got some ice spikes. Ooh, I really want to take a look at those, but we don't really have enough time. Maybe another episode. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, so that's pretty much all of the progress we've made um, while I haven't been uploading to my channel. So I am going to try to get a little better with uploading weekly gaming videos, or at least try to get close to weekly but I'm not sure how well that will go throughout the school year. But, oh, that's going to be so cool. I cannot wait to go look at those ice spikes. So, another thing that I need to let you guys know, I was preparing an animation um, that for this month. It was nearly completed. Well, about halfway completed, but I've decided to postpone it and start working on a different one. Um, I know this just sounds like a terrible idea when I say it out loud. Um, it's just because, um, there are holidays coming and whatnot, and I actually, this is, like, my first year doing, like, this whole YouTube thing. So, I actually, I'm, I've been very unprepared. It's been a crazy year. Um, so I've definitely learned some things about making videos, and some ways I can definitely be a lot more organized with video upload schedules and just things like that. So, I have decided to postpone it just because, like, the season is changing to fall and also lots of um, holidays are coming up. So, I figured it would be better to do an animation more fitting for this time. And uh, one other thing is next year, um, probably January or February, some big changes are coming to my channel, which um, the animation I am preparing right now that I've decided to do instead of the one that was about halfway completed... I'm going to be talking about some of that more in depth, so stay tuned for that animation too. It'll probably be just over a month from now when it comes out. Okay guys, 
So one other thing that I want to do is I'm going to enter a time lapse of resource collecting. That's just because I'm just going to go out and scrounge for resources. That's just because we've been pretty short on resources for a while now, for a few days. We've been, we've pretty much had little to no iron and we've mined out all of the caves that we've discovered and we've been having trouble finding new caves and more systems to mine. So I'm going to go on a little like miniature little resource expedition and I'm going to make a little time lapse of me doing that. So yeah, hopefully I'll be able to find a lot of resources. Okay guys, I am here in the server, and I have my friend with me, Captain Anna Kirk. Now, um, in the previous episode, he was Bugboy1, but now he's Captain Anna Kirk. He changed his username, and that's what his username will be from now on. So, now we're going to be doing some exploration. Well, he actually, over here, I'll show you guys, he recently, like just now, he found a mob spawner and he's going to be making an XP grinder out of it. It's right over here at this mountain. Okay guys, so it is right here on this mountain and this is it. It's just a little zombie spawner. Oh, <laughs> you just kind of like flew in from nowhere. So... This is it. He just, um, he dug out this area here, and he is going to be making the grinder here. Okay, guys, so now the last part of this episode I have planned for today is just going on, um, going around exploring. Now, it does turn out that 
um, Captain Anakirk found, um, like, that beautiful spot with, like, the mountain and the roof forest and all of that before me. And he's already claimed it, and he's building his base there. So we're going to have to find a new spot. Now, I'm pretty unsatisfied with all of the current locations that we have found. None of them are really that good. So I'm hoping that I can go exploring and find some really nice spots. The main biomes I'm looking for are roof forests and mountains. I really like those next to each other just because those are my two favorite biomes, but it's not that hard actually to find those two biomes right next to each other. They just seem to pop up near each other all the time. So hopefully we won't have to venture very far to find another roof forest kind of place. So we've already explored over there at the desert, and I've actually, in the time lapse, I explored a huge amount of the desert over there. But this area over here is actually pretty unknown. So I'm thinking I could probably just stick with, like, the border along the roof forest and the regular forest and just see what I can find. So we're just going to go in this approximate direction. I'm just going to place torches as I go to mark the trail. So one thing is I'm not really concerned about collecting a whole lot of resources. Um, I'm, mostly, I'm mostly just wanting to explore really far out, just see what I can find, and then perhaps collect resources on my way back. Okay, guys, so it looks like there is a mountain over here, actually. I just saw it. I'm not sure if you guys could see- Whoa! I hope this is a good-looking place. Doesn't look too shabby so far. Uh... Okay, guys, well, I'm back in the server. But there's an issue, and it's that these chunks over- well, chunks aren't generating. I respawned in a- whoa! I keep getting teleported to here. I just respawned in a spot that I was not in before, and now I'm lost. Oh no, I'm not. It's right there. I know where I'm going. Not lost. Yet. So, yeah, it does look like it's about to become nighttime, so I say, yeah, I'll build up a base right here. Uh-oh. That's not good. Uh, yeah, it is lagging. Alright, guys, it is almost night. I had to go back to that little forest there, and I had to collect just a little bit more wood so that I could finish making a door for this little miniature base. Oh, come on. No! Don't do this to me now, computer! Okay. Yeah, it is lagging. It won't craft. I can't do anything. I can't place block. Oh, gosh. This is... No. No. Yeah, I think the issue might be trying to host the... Yep, there we go. Um, I think the issue might be trying to host the server and record at the same time. Might be... A bit too hard, because this is like an entry-level gaming PC, so it can do some things, but it can't take a lot. Okay, guys. So, um, um, okay, the lag? Oh, gosh. Oh, no. The server crashed, um, twice, but I respawned at the mountains, but my torch trail is gone. My torch trail is not here. Uh, well, I kind of remember the way back to base, so, oh no. Oh no, I can't break blocks. I can't move. Oh gosh. Yeah, this is pretty awful. Might need to get something figured out. Come on! Ah, uh, the bed is a lost cause. We're leaving it. I can't pick it up. Oh no, wait, which way did I come from? Oh no, okay. Mountain range is that way. Home it why are there so many chunk errors in this world? I've just started noticing that. There are tons of chunk errors out here. Um yeah, home is this way. Um I did not bring a compass, but um I do know my way back home. Like I know the general direction where I came from. And I might be able to recognize some landmarks. If I could get over this hill, if I could break blocks. Okay, there it goes. 
Let's see here. Whoa, big cliff. So I'm just sitting here trying to eat, and it's taking forever. I'm not sure if this is a new mechanic added into the game. I feel like they have extended the time required to eat. But, oh my gosh, it takes like a minute just to fill up my food bar. Yeah, absolute lag. Oh gosh. There's a swamp. There wasn't a swamp. I'm really off course now. Whoa, lagged again. Where on earth am I now? Um, okay, hey, Captain. Um, what are the coordinates of base? Okay, so I just got the coordinates. So I need to go towards positive X, negative Z. Oh, I've been going the wrong way. I've been going the opposite direction. I think I must have gotten confused because the game kept lagging and flipping me around. Like, turning me the other way and stuff like that when I got teleported. Lost my bearings. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Okay, everybody. So, now that we have the coordinates of the base, so now I know where I'm going. Um, now I guess I just begin this long and painful journey. So I'm actually currently about 300-ish blocks away from base, so it shouldn't actually take that long. Actually, wait. I think I... Oh, I think this is the swamp that is right over by the base. I'm not quite sure. Alright, why are there so many chunk errors in this world? I'm so confused. Like, everywhere I go, they pop up. I'm not sure why. It's very weird. I don't like it. So, am I still going the right way? Yep. I'm a prox- okay. So, right there is the Rift Forest, so I should be getting close, because this is the point where, like, they're both coming together. Oh, I found my torch trail, okay. So, there must have been, like, a saving error when, the, when like, the server crashed or something. Because, like... The right there is like some bits of the torch trail, but now it's gone again. What on earth? Oh! There's the little, there's the dirt pillar at the world spawn. The base is right behind it, which means... Ooh, that's actually a pretty nice spot. Oh, there are my torches. Okay, here's the torch trail. We just need to follow this back. Alright, it's smooth sailing from here. Hmm. Do I really want that coal? Uh, I don't- I don't care about the coal. I don't care about the coal. I just want to get this painful journey over with. This was a total failure. Oh my goodness gracious. Alright. Home sweet home. Okay, the game developers, Mojang, did not extend the time required to eat food because I just ate it in, like, the same amount of time. Like, you see what I mean? See, it's, like, it's working just fine. So when it takes a while to eat, that's just lag being obnoxious. But, uh, I'm deciding whether or not I should continue on an adventure or if I should just stay back at base. I'm not quite sure. Okay, everybody, so we didn't get quite a lot accomplished in this episode. We went on a little expedition and failed miserably. We managed to crash the server three times. We also managed, I guess, to stockpile a bunch of resources for my base. I just need to find a good place to build it. But I am afraid that is all I can put into this episode for now. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a while, it's just the school year has started, it's been busy, so I guess you guys can expect my upload schedule to go completely out of whack during the school year. So, 
Hopefully, I will be able to upload more often, but I guess I'll just see you guys in my next video. Later!